They call it the Asus ROG Zephyrus M16, and these are the benchmarks that are gonna be coming up in just a few minutes. Now, I've done a full unboxing to check out the build quality and just give my overall impressions of the usability of this laptop. So if you're curious about that video or even some head-to-head -head videos versus other laptops, you can check out those videos in the YouTube cards above. But for now, we're gonna stick with some of the things I didn't talk about in the unboxing to save you guys some time and bring you the most value. First and foremost, let's check out the webcam. Here's the webcam for the Rogue Zephyrus M16. Looks good, it's a little on the cool side as far as the temperature is concerned. A little bit grainy, but overall it'll do the trick for any you know web meetings you might have. Something I was curious about during my unboxing was the top speaker grills, and they are in fact speakers. And here's a quick audio sample for you. Moving on to the screen, I really like this screen. It's sharp and bright, and here are the color gamut range and color accuracy results for this screen. I talked a little bit about the trackpad during the unboxing. I love the large trackpad, matte top cover, as well as the soft touch keys. And here's a quick audio sample of the keys as well as the trackpad while in use. For a 16 inch laptop, I'm surprised how on the go this laptop is. It's fairly thin and light. And regarding battery life, I'm really impressed with this laptop. Now you can see the battery life results coming up on the screen now. To run the Photoshop battery life test, I took the Puget Systems benchmark and ran it on repeat until the battery went dead. For Premiere Pro, I took a 4K project and then ran it on loop until the battery went dead. As we're heading into the performance benchmarks, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of this laptop, you can head down in the description and click that link. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, looking first at simulated benchmarks, we're gonna see Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench, single core, and multi-core. Moving forward into 3D modeling, this laptop performed well in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. For the After Effects standard benchmark, it topped my charts with the best laptop I've seen on my channel so far. Now regarding the After Effects render benchmark, it wasn't at the top, but was definitely in the top contenders. Moving on to video editing, you can see the results for the export times from 1080p all the way up to 6K. And regarding playback in Premiere Pro, we had smooth playback at 4K, good playback at B-RAW 6K, and it struggled at 6K red footage. But I'm seeing most laptops have that problem as I'm running a lot of these tests lately. Regarding DaVinci Resolve, we had smooth playback for 4K, and here are the export times. One test I've been really enjoying is running the export at different fan modes inside of the Asus Command Center. I checked the export time, thermals, and fan noise for this laptop. Moving on to Photoshop, one of the highest scores I've seen on my channel from a laptop. So if you're considering the Adobe Design Suite or Affinity or Figma, Sketch, whatever it might be, you're in good hands with this laptop. Once again, I've run the Photoshop benchmark at different fan modes, and here are the results for the thermals and fan noise. With great battery life, color gamut range, performance, and stellar thermals, this is a fantastic on-the-go laptop for any creator. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.